Welcome to Mixed Media Creations with me, Creative Katie. Follow me on Instagram and see what I'm creating long before it hits YouTube. www.instagram.com backslash Creative Katie. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and please share this video and my YouTube channel with your creative friends. Today we have an iCAD video, number three. It's entitled, Never Hide Your Wings. And it features the technique that I taught in Mixed Media Technique Tag, Use Tags to Build Texture. Welcome to Mixed Media Creations. Today we are going to work on iCAD number three. So here's number one. We used our own we designer tissue paper that we created by using our stamps and tissue papers. Number two, we used the plastic wrap technique in the background. And today we are going to use Mixed Media Technique Tag number two, which was Tags for Texture. So in this one, we are using tags, uh, basically blue band kind of things that we always have an endless supply of. And it, depending on how, how you bring out the texture, with shading and drippage and maybe some sprays. So what I'm doing, I pulled out, I just have a ready stash in my plastic bag of things that, you know, tags from clothing, tags from things I purchase. I like them when they have the holes on them because that shows up interestingly. This is the ends of a paper from a paper spiral book. We have, you know, business cards, different sizes, you know, oh, I like this one, it's a nice round one in here. I also have some of the, um, which would be garbage when you're cutting, when I'm cutting stencils on my uh, silhouette cam cameo. So I've got different shapes and things. So I'm just going to look through this and pull out a variety and then we'll get started. So this part, as you're deciding, there is no right or wrong and there definitely isn't any um, rules that I can find. I don't do this often enough to come up with any rules. I want interesting texture, so I am ripping, you know, to have that. And I just want to build kind of a back background on here. Now I've kind of decided that I'm going to maybe put a butterfly in the middle. So I kind of want to have something that is going to um, show off the butterfly. So I have this round piece what I might do here is just kind of tape it. I like the look of that. I think that's going to be interesting. Bits and pieces, you know. Um, now I have this interesting tag. I like the this, but it, it's very plasticky. I don't think it would work well on here, but I, I'm going to keep it in there because what I can do if I want it to, I could just use that shape like I'm, like I'm going to do here. I don't know if I'm going to use this in my on my iCAD today, but we'll, you know, we'll show you what, give you an idea. in there. So I'm not sure. Yeah. To enhance the texture that is. Okay, so you know what I'm going to get started is I'm going to use gesso to adhere this down because you can use gesso. It is 
to glue things down. And it will give kind of this chalky kind of look. This one, this tag here was done, adhered with gesso. And then the mediums on top of it, and I think that was a lot of sprays and that kind of stuff. It just kind of has that patina kind of look. And I really like this look, so I'm going to try to duplicate that. So that's the advantage of, of doing the technique tag videos, and you might get sick of me saying that, but this will become, once you put in the work, this becomes a reference guide for you. You know, I can go and watch my video, but it's so much easier <laughs> to go here and say, oh, okay, I can really, I can see it, I can touch it, I can say, oh, that is, that's incredible. I like how that, that feels or how that looks. So I am just simply, what I'm going to do, because I really like how this is right now, I'm just simply going to take a picture of it. So I kind of remember the composition. That doesn't mean I'm not going to deviate from it because, you know, I do. And I'm taking some of these off of the page. And I'm applying the gesso quite liberally. When I've watched others doing doing this, they do provide, you know, and that will even add a little bit more texture to, to my background. Okay, so we're just, I'm gonna make that run off a little bit. Kind of overlap over and under that's just you know when you have those different layers that's just going to add interest I don't really know how these will turn out in the end I'm always surprised when I've done texture and I will put a link to a video where I did um, actually it was my word of the year persevere I did the, the background using texture Um, using tags, I'm sorry. Um, so you don't have to worry because you're putting coats of gesso on there. Any print that's there is just going to be added a little bit of interest peeking through. It's not going, you're not going to see a whole lot of it. But some of the tags have a little shiny finish and the, so the gesso is simply going to um, neutralize all that. It's going to make it so that the medium, whatever we put on here, the sprays are going to uh, adhere equally. So you can see we, we're building. I'm thinking I need something up here. So what do I need? What do I need? seem to and I'm just following the instinct and and again this is a case of you don't know until 
until you experiment what you like. You know, so if you like what I'm doing, then you can kind of duplicate the composition. You know, I have something long, something in the middle, something going across, you know, along those lines. So I'm going to take some time and dry this off camera and then we'll be back. So I really like the color scheme of this one and I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to go in a similar fashion. So I believe that I use my Lindy's Starbursts and one of my favorite colors is this sweet violet purple teal. The teal is the iridescent, the mica, and then the purple is the color. I also love, love, love Afternoon Delight Denim, which again, it has that dark blue and then the teal. And, you know, if we're not, don't have enough teal yet, I'm just shaking these to get the mic up. Tibetan Poppy Teal. And then I've got Steel Shimmer here, I might add to it. So when you're adding this, it's a little over time, it's a little more, you're, you know, there's again no certainty on this. A little bit of water drying, you know, and you just keep going till you get oops, a look that you like. And you may have to dry in between because the card will get too wet because we're not dealing with, you know, we're not dealing with mixed media paper here. And this is where you just kind of have to let go and let the magic of these sprays go. And I love, love, love these, these mica sprays. They, you know, catch for any kind of texture that you have on the page, whether it's modeling paste or gesso or, uh, gonna do and now I'm going to reach for my heat tool and dry and tilt now I do find that they do dry a little differently than I'm I'm just then when with a heat tool I'm not sure if that's my imagination. If you've had experience with that, let me know. But you can see the shimmer that's there. Off camera, I was playing with possible uh, focal points, but until the color's on here, I just, I really, you know, I can't commit. And you just build up the color as you go. I'm going to totally dry this and come back and we may add more to build up more layers of color. Okay, so as you can see, we have the color and it's a little lighter, less, more blue, less purple than I first set out for, but I'm loving it. I love the shimmer. Now, the, here's the downside with the sprays or any water soluble, water activated product. If I go and I start uh, 
use a Stabilo All Pencil to bring out the texture or try to use my floating technique, it's going to activate the color. So what you need to do is put a spray fixative on it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go outside. I use Betrafix. Um, this is all natural and it's odor free because it really bothers me. So, I mean, but there's Krylon brand, there's all sorts of brands. You pick what works for you. So we have this. You still have lots of shimmer and I've sprayed it. But I'm thinking, you know what, I'm not even going to try to it was still, it did reactivate when I sprayed that on. So what I'm going to do is actually use some of this charcoal. And I haven't used this for a while. But this is, it's an artist loft and you get soft, medium, and hard. And you can sharpen them. So if you want a sharper point for some applications like I want here. I don't want to be in there and do thick. Now with the charcoal... I'm just on the surface and I'm going to rub and smudge without adding any water. So You can use different fingers and after a while you may just need to get out a baby wipe. These are the hands that, you know, when you use sprays, my hands are always going to be covered. Actually, who are we kidding? My hands are always covered with paint. I am not a neat, pristine creator <laughs> at all. not exactly liking the dark color here. Switch to the Stabilo Roll Pencil. This is a navy one. It just seems to go better. You do not have to. You can smudge the Stabilo. You don't need to activate it with water. If you're brave, you can give it a try. I'm really like what I have here. Now, do you need to do this? No, you could skip this step and just have the more subtle texture from the tags that's presented, which would be fine. <clears throat> I 
See, now I'm, not, now I'm not minding the black in there, now that I'm a little further ahead. Sometimes you just got to keep going, you know, just... Give and take. You got to move and go, move and go. get some uh, this is navy and I'm just going to do the edges I figure it needs it I have a feeling I might be coming back with black but I'm going to start with this yeah definitely going to go in with black dry foam over a makeup sponge and the makeup sponge I find after when I start using it it starts kind of falling apart this is not it's a little more stable and sturdier so just so you know what the difference is see now that everything kind of works together that black that looks so out of place earlier now looks like it belongs a little bit more okay so there we have our tags for texture background so now I need to decide what I'm going to put on here which way the tag is going to go uh, You know, putting this in the middle, I should have put it up or down because if I put it right there, you lose, you can't see that circle. So, I like the size of this one. Hmm. thought that color would not have gone then we put a sentiment up here nope too much matchy matchy that's too different we could put that paint that whatever color we want I'm going to go through my quote book and see what kind of quote I can find. Might help me figure out my focal point. That would work. I'm going very, you know, same color, same color family. Be a little too small. I like having the black there.
quite honestly, I don't think I can go wrong at this stage. Any of these would work quite well. So now these are free printables. If you go on Pinterest and Google free printables, you can find them. And I've printed them off. You can go to, you know, Staples or, you know, the similar kind of store and find and get it. I think I like that one best. I like the purple, but it is a little too little. So I'm going to be very careful here because I'm not convinced that it's not going to reactivate. So I'm going to put the gel medium on the back of The butterfly and be very careful not to really work the surface. And I'm going to plan for this to be go over the edge. This one I think was actually not a free printable. It was from a calendar and I just, you know, bought it at the dollar store specifically for the purpose of using in my mixed media. So I'm kind of liking that. I could have, should have gone with this around the edges, but I did not. So the matte medium helps doll down the shine from the magazine which is a good use of it. I'm just going to make sure that I get it all matte. I don't want it to shine. I want the mica powders then that were in the sprays to to provide the shine on this one. I'm really liking the texture that was created here. Just a quick trick before you put this in water, if you just take a paper towel or a wet wipe, whatever you have handy, and get, work the gel medium out, it does clean up a little bit easier. If you just put it in water, it doesn't quite, you still have to work at it. So now I need to find my sentiment because I never did get to that. So once again, I'm auditioning things that I have. Now, with the joy of having butterflies, is just, it, a lot of that is readily available. You can find it in magazines and calendars, free printables. You, you, you can even have a lot of butterfly stamps that you can stamp and then paint watercolors or whatever you whatever have whatever you want. So the joy of butterflies, while there's a lot of butterfly quotes, pretty much it's neutral. So you can pretty much put any quote in there be a voice not an echo happiness is always an inside job and you know any of these again would would go you know i'm kind of looking i don't want to lose this wonderful texture in the background so i don't want to overwhelm this you know what i'm thinking I might. We have that one.
No, we need something up here. I think I like that one. The believe in your possibilities and everything else is going to go back into the stash. It'll show up next time, right? put links to the videos where I have, you know, done several videos about creating your own sentiment stickers. And so you build, you can have a, a day in this in the studio and you can kind of make your own build your stash. Even in some of those videos, I think in one of the mixed media technique tag videos, I even show how to download different fonts, install it on your computer. Um, giving you a whole lot of information that, you know, will help you get the building blocks. There, I kind of like that. There may have been some black on here, but I did, it is primarily blue. So that's looking in the camera. How does that look? The fo the flow. We have that. I always kind of look. You want your eye to come down. If I'm gentle, I can go a little bit over top of, but it is coming off, even with the fixative, so. <laughs> it's just the price you pay for using those kind of mediums. By all means, it doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. It just means you gotta know and make take precautions. I kind of wanted something in this spot or before, and now I kind of have it. Okay, so I'm looking at this and I'm wondering if I need splatters and I'm going to say no for this one shock really like this I think this would look nice as a fridge magnet so I can put the magnetic strip and remember I'm just gonna put a jelly print jelly print glue a jelly print on the back um, that has similar colors tags for texture mixed-media technique tag number two created this background for iCAD number three